Okay, now we are on the water use per capita. As I mentioned before, here, we have now estimated the population. Now we're going to estimate the water use per capita. Once we have these two, we're going to multiply them and estimate the future water demand. Okay? So, how are we going to do this? Now you need to, to switch to this that is called, to this tab that is called water use per capita. And, um, okay, what do we see here? These are the um, groundwater use and surface water use of Watsonville in acre feet per year. So one acre by, uh, well, it's the acre is the area by one foot of depth. That is the volume that we're seeing here per year. And we have data since 1999 up to 2010. So we have all this data. We know how much water is used from surface water sources and surface water sources, which are these, and from groundwater sources, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is to try to estimate what is the water use per capita. First, we need to estimate the water use, and then um, if we know what is the water use annually and what is the population annually, then we can estimate how this water use per capita has changed uh, throughout the time. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is to create a plot of this. So I'm going to select these two time series. I'm going to go here to insert column and we need to have this as an stacked, stacked column graph. So now it's kind of start looking similar. Now, let's do this. Um, here, just go right click, select data, and in this one, we're going to select that the years for series one. We know that that one is this is the groundwater, series one is the water used from groundwater sources. We know that series number two is the one coming from surface water sources, okay? We can actually type here only surface water. And then for this one, we can type from water. Okay. So now this one, it do does look more similar than the one that I'm asking on the exercise. <sighs> to um, including the um, y-axis level, you just need to go here to layout, um, axis, primary and um, vertical axis title, and then here. And just type um, per use and then acre feet per year. Okay, so now we have a very similar um, chart. Now the first thing that we are going to start doing is to add these two sources. So what this was good for, what I'm trying to show you here is that um, most of the water that is used by this city comes from um, groundwater sources, uh, very few from uh, surface water sources. 
So now let's add these two sources of water together by just clicking here. Equal sum, and then selecting these two um, cells. Again, you just copy this cell and then paste it with Control D here. Okay. So now, as you can see, we have the same values like the ones that I'm asking here. Now. We have just find uh, the volume. This is the volume of water that we need. Well, the, the volume of water used by the city of Watsonville. Um, this volume is in acre feet per year. And usually um, the water use per capita is estimated as um, gallons per day per person. So in order to go from acre feet per year to gallons per day, the first thing that we need to do using these conversion factors um, so basically, uh, you can see here that one acre foot, one acre feet is equal to, let me see, here. One acre foot is equal to um, this much gallons, uh, 325,851 gallons. So I'm gonna use this or this number and multiply it by 325, 51. So now we, instead of having uh, acre feet per year, now we have uh, gallons per year. Now we don't want gallons per year, we, can, we want gallons per day. So these are gallons per year. If we divide it by 365, we're going to obtain gallons per um, day. Now, here this is the, uh, we, are still, we are using the same equation, like this one, the linear uh, regression equation that we use for population. In this case, what I'm going to do is to copy this. And instead of here, what I'm going to need is select, this is the here. And it's going to be minus that value. I'm just using again the same equation that I that I did to estimate the population. So this is the estimated population using the linear regression equation. Okay, so now I have the volume, and I have the volume and the uh, amount of people. How do I estimate the water use per capita? Well, I divide the volume in gallons per day divided by the number of people living in Watsonville during that year. So as you can see, this is 163 gallons per day. We can estimate that a person in Watsonville in 1999 used to, um, um, it used 163 gallons per day. Hmm. Now let's plot these values and see how they look like. And actually we're going to plot the water use per capita with the uh, precipitation data that is here. So let's, let's select the, these two. How can we select these two interactively? Well, basically what you can do is first Select this data, and once you have selected, hold the key control, and then drag until you have selected also the precipitation. Once you have done that, then you just go here, insert, and we can do this column. Now, in this case, it doesn't look any similar like the one that we are trying to do here. Let's, well, first let's select this one. 
Let's go here, right click and hit select data. Here, the first thing that we need to know is that, that we need to tell Excel is to declare that we are using as the um, X axis, the years here. Now the first series here, it's, um, okay. So this series number one is the precipitation. So we put this as their name. And then the second one, the name is the water use per capita. Okay. Again, still, this one doesn't look the same as this one. Okay, the first thing is just select the um, bars, right click and go to format of the data series. Once you're there, go here and select Now here. Here, as you can see in series options, it's asking you that is in the primary axis. If you select secondary axis, it will go to a different one. Then we can also here do change series. We can select a line. So now we have something that is looking a little bit more similar. Uh, let me. Let's do this. Okay. Okay, now we can actually see it a little bit better. Okay, now this, in order to change this one to this gray color, you can just go right, select it, right click, and go to format of the data series, fill, let's select solid, and this gray. For this, you just select it. For the other, for the line, just select it. Go here to Line color, solid line, and select black, like the one that is already here. And line style, let's go a little bit thicker. And then here, selecting this time of dash type. Close. So as you can see now, it looks a little bit uh, more similar of the one that I'm just presenting here. Um, you can always go here to layout. And here in axis titles, you can select in the primary, so in the one that is on the left. Um, here, uh, select and type quarter use per capita. And these are gallons per day per person. And then we can select exactly the same access title. Go here in secondary access title, rotate it. And here we can type precipitation. Okay. And now we have the two type, the two um, um, y-axis um, titles. Okay, so this one kind of vanished. Let's just. Oh. Precipitation. Now we have it. Okay. So, <clears throat> what do we need here? Okay. 
Um, what is what is the trend of the water use per capita in Watsonville? I mean, if we compare 1989 to 2010, what is the trend? Um, what is the trend here? Do you see any pattern? Actually, isn't the water per capita not just kind of going down? I mean, consider that at the beginning it started at what about 160? Look, in 1999 it started at 163, and now in 2010 it's about 120. So now here is to be turned in. Now we are in the section. What did you use for a capita? So, the first thing that I'm going to ask is to um, this, the plot chart when we have the water use per capita and the precipitation. Do you think that the water use per capita since 1999 has increased or decreased comparing to 2011? Um, take a look at this web page and see what is what are the free indoor conservation devices that uh, the agency, the water agency in this area, has been um, uh, providing. Do you think this has something to do with the decrease in the water use per capita? So the water use per capita here is about 125 gallons, which is about 473 and liters per day per person. How does this 40, I mean, this water use that is about 470 liters per day per person compared to other nations? So look that this 473 might be somewhere in this neighbor. Look, what is the water use per capita for other nations? Are we using less water, more water than other nations? Why do you think? Okay, so let's go back here. And now let's start working. So this is only for the city of Watsonville, but there is also some rural communities in this area. Um, let's obtain, let's do the same procedure as we did before and try to first obtain the volume of water, in this case, in gallons per day per, pay per person, like here. And then let's estimate the population, as we did here, and then just divide the volume by the population, okay? So in this case, what we need to do is to add this water use. And in this case, we only have data for uh, 2010. So let's add these values for other municipal and uh, rural and, and residential, which is this. This is the volume in acre feet per year. Now let's estimate this in gallons per um, per year. Um, and this will be my multiplying this times 325,851. And then here it will be, this is per year, so we should divide it by 365 days, and we have at this per day. What is the total population, rural population? In this case, is the sum of all these different um, cities throughout the coast. 
at the end the water use per capita is dividing this many gallons by the population Dividing this over this. Okay, so we have about um, 132 um, gallons per capita per person, per day. Gallons per day per person, which is actually. Um, as you can see here, for the city of Watsonville is 120 that we saw here at the end in 2010. They were using about 120 gallons per day per person. In the rural communities, they are using about 132. So in this case, to be turned in, I want you to discuss Why the um, why the water use in the rural communities is a little bit higher than in the city? The city has to to do something with um, leakages, with no meters. Um, do you think they are using more water in a specific use? And I don't know in in their lawn, in their cooking, in their washing things. Um, please elaborate on that. Um, do you think they have less sophisticated equipment and water saving uh, devices to supply water? What, what do you think is, is the difference between these 132 and gallons per day per person and this one? 120. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> 